curious is what's going to happen on Cactus Valley, another one of our giant maps here in this pool. Are these two players going to go head to head in a straight up game? I kind of favor TY the way he's been playing today if it goes to that. Yeah, Cactus Valley it certainly would be the map for TY. If he can get away with it, if he doesn't take damage early like he did last game, maybe Zest will be looking for it. Maybe there's a, a, a build that Zest has planned for him on this map. Let's find out, Move Late. Game five. Let's find out which one of these two KT Rolster players is going to the round of four. Down here to the bottom left in red, it's TY. The drums of war. The drums of war. And up here in the top right, we do have Blue Protoss Zest. Let's hear those drums. Boom. It's like there's a Kodo Beast behind him banging yeah. the drums of war. That's right. I'm like banging my hand on the table. Going right back to Warcraft 3. Well, I feel like this could go either way. Now, TY, of course, a very young player, but not as young as he used to be when he was like age 11 playing professional StarCraft 1 under the ID Baby. And uh, this guy is known for in StarCraft 2 his siege tank usage. That's why his logo has a siege tank in it. And also his name, Taeyang, which is where his ID comes from, T-Y Taeyang, uh, means sun. So that's where the sun actually comes from and the sun chip that you see him eating in some of his profile photos as well. It's a cool name. Yeah. I like that name. Zest, on the other hand, logo is a bit more apparently obvious. He's just a beast, a gargantuan, <laughs> strong player, strong man. Strong man. Gargantuan. I don't know if I call him a gargantuan. The that, logo looks like a gargantuan. That brings me right back to Nazebo, man. Like I don't know. I don't <laughs> know if he looks like that. <laughs> well, he definitely doesn't look like a ravenous spirit, Moonblade. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly not. He's uh, a bit, a bit more beefier than that. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Looks like a three barracks follow-up from TY. I feel yeah. like safety more than aggression for Adds this. safety first right there. I, I do like that. You know, it is that last game, and it, it was a pretty aggressive build from uh, Zest last game as well. So, you know what? Let's just slow things down even more. Let's get the three racks out, get the bio pumping, make sure nothing can happen to me until that late game where I seem to be winning all my games. Zest is going to the bottom right with his probe, scouting incorrectly, but he has made another pylon in the main, which makes the likelihood of proxies drop quite significantly. I don't think we're going to see one here. No, not this time around. I think probably this game is going to be the game where it does go that late. Zest is going to slow things down and try and take it to that late, late game again. You do have the room to do so on a cross-map Cactus Valley. Yeah. Twilight Council, nonetheless... Gonna be in the main. It doesn't mean he could just kind of blink into a third base. Hero style, old school. Yeah, some of that blink contain. I mean, not a bad choice as well on this map. It's it is pretty spread out. Defending old bases can be tricky against drops without blink. Now he did see the CC and he went really deep on it, so he knows the timing of the CC. Um, not able to really get any information about those barracks, not able to see the marine count or anything like that. Alright, here comes that. Twilight Council selects it, so it is going to be blank right away. Okay. Well, not a bad choice. Just apply that pressure, but it's going to be hard for the blink to find anything beyond poke the front bunker. It is such a such a tight sort of wall. It's hard to get past it. Maybe in the early stages of the game, you can blink past it. Maybe do some SCV harassing the natural or something, but beyond yeah. that, I think it's just essentially to test the waters, see if he can find some real damage and commit to it. Probably not. It's just going to force some extra bunkers out, perhaps, to force some more defensive reaction. 
And then I'll have Blink already as a tech choice, or, you know, a tech path he's already gone down for the medevac defense, like you were saying earlier. And uh, he's got Stalkers on the map to deny scouts. Unfortunately, though, that SCB is going to come over here and see the additional gateways being added. That might scare him a little bit, but it's still just a few gates. <laughs> yeah, I, if he saw more than two building, like, that would be sort of like a warning sign. It'd be like, oh, okay, you're actually really committing the gateway right now. I have to make sure I have at least one bunker full with SCVs next to it. But if it's just two, it's like, okay, you're just doing the three gate, sort of going to a third beyond that. I have, don't have to worry about too much. This SCV scout is, rather than checking the main base, is just simply checking for proxies. Wants to get a good idea about what's coming his way because he knows... That's how Zest has been playing this matchup, especially today. Aggression, tricks. I don't know how, what was, Zest's opening was more standard, right, in game number one. Not so much aggressive, but in the rest of the games, it's been pretty aggressive. Uh, the game one was that, that Colossus drop. So that was like the, the sort of like the big all-in sort of harassment. Right. Well, not yeah. really all-in, but if you lose it, you're behind in a big way. Yeah. Ooh, look at this. Oh, this is pretty cool. This is cute. We see Terran players do this to Zerg sometimes. It's kind of falling out of the meta. Bomber is doing it a lot. You just you do so well against Lings that the bunker finishes. Likewise, if you can get two Mirars in there, Stalkers are a non-factor. Yeah. Blink helps, though. Blink helps kind of whittle away at it, but with Marauders, with Stim and Combat Shields on the map already, he might even have to just give up that third. You know, I think he I think he will. doesn't have enough gateway units to support this. If he could actually kill us before units get inside, that would be great, but it's just a pipe dream. It's definitely not going to happen. Yeah. And Derek carries. I think there's no way he can hold this Nexus. I really like this actually keeping the Marines in the bunker, just having the Marauders to help zone out the Stalkers. There's the cancel, and Zest cannot be happy with this. He needs a blink back again, playing with fire with that blink Stalker micro. And TY's not done yet. He's gonna force the Nexus cannon here, only for one Marine. Perfectly good trade. It looks like he's considering blinking on top of this because he has that Colossus, but there's the bunker here still. Yeah, that's a that's a bold move. I mean, four Marauders will trade very nicely with those Stalkers. While it's still happening, that third base, you know, he almost finished as well for TY. Going into those five racks, so he wants to get that production up and running for the mid-game. TY is playing this series so well right now. Would not want to be Zest in this moment. It's kind of an awkward situation where, because they're cross-spawns, it's hard to punish with an attack. But at the same time, you know, his third base is so late. What's he going to do? He's already been pretty greedy with his tech. There's not much uh, of a greed he can actually take at this point to catch up. Maybe you could take double forges and try to catch up in that way, but that could be one way. But I, I still feel like he has to be careful of TY going for some kind of timing, whether it be pull the boys or something like multiple drops like we saw in that very impressive Echo game. Yeah, he's got to be make sure he's got to make sure he's like really on top of what he could be up against here because he cannot get caught out again. All right, this observer has got an observer buddy. They're going to give double coverage. That medevac should be spotted. He's gonna oh, he's going to draw this back. I think that's what you're about to say. Draw yeah. us away from the main. Yeah, well, that's right. I mean, these two drops going towards the main. But Observer scouts it. Is it in time, though? Blink Stalk is on the way up. Uh, I think he's got it just in time. If the Stalkers come in after the drops are unloaded, it's not a good situation. Because they're before the drops unload, he can just do too much to them. But TY is just going to find anything he can. Considers sniping a Colossus, but does move back. Going to cost oh. him a few Marines. Going for the third now. He's got uh, a lot of hit points already, though. Yeah, not going to find the kill there. And no medevacs with that army at the third, so it's a bit tougher to try to snipe and, and boost, boost away. If you get four seals, he's going to lose everything. I feel like Zest is stabilized to a certain extent here. Yeah, if he can keep that third up and running, stop populating it, because it's pretty empty right now. And it's TY, though, he's in full force. You know, his third has been up and running a lot longer. He's applying all the aggression right now, and he's going to that second starport, so he wants to make sure he has that key sort of army composition to deal with Colossus. Yeah, and TY also has a lead in Harvesters at 61 to 54. So, I mean, now even getting two more. With this many Harvesters in the lead, plus mules and triple mules, going to be able to make so many more Marauders, and I think he's probably going to go into that heavy Marauder style again, like we saw in the past. Yeah, it looks like that. And it's six medivacs going for a drop in the main. We did see this on the other map. It completely dominated him. That turret is so sick. We're seeing TY do this in like every single game. Yeah, it just makes so turrets smart. to zone out those uh, those observers. He knows for a fact there's no observer oh, there. Man, nothing here in the main base to shut this down. Just two cannons in the Nexus cannon. The camera zooms in here on Zass as he is caught way out of position. This Nexus most likely will fall easily with very few losses. 
He does wipe the cannons. He's actually going to burst and Wintermine's going to engage on oh. top of these Colossi. So much damage. One Colossus is going down. He's going to try to get out with the minibags. Ooh, going to lose a couple, that's for sure. Yeah, that was definitely an expensive trade, but I would say overall worth it. Completely worth it, I'd have to say. Killing a base like that at this point in the game. It's going to put TY so far ahead. Oh, and he's actually gearing up to hit the third as well. He does know those Widow Mines are there. He moved an Observer back. I believe he knows. Well, he's going to certainly know in a second when that probe gets blown up. <laughs> okay, this drop move out over here is spot. Okay, he does see these. Takes no losses. He's got his units in position here at the third base. TY is in a good position to poke at this and try to get some Colossus kills perhaps with these Vikings. Try to force those out of position on top of that ramp, on top of those rocks. But he does not want to stay too long. He does not want to overcommit here because that's how Zest get back, gets back into this game. That's right. Well, he's going to try pressure the Nexus while he does this, but those uh, Vikings are in a bad place. Yeah. He tried to go for some extra damage on those Colossi, but the Stalkers were in position. Now Storm's on the way. Yeah, Storm's going to be finished up before the next attack as well, which is really going to help Zest. We do see TY still trying to get enough Vikings out. He's currently sitting at 9. He wants about, I dare say, like 12 to 16 to really shut down the Colossus count at this point. And that's if he's not taking Storms. Yeah. You know, if you have 3 to 3.5 three like Vikings per Colossus, you can take them out really easily if the, if the Colossi get into a bad position. If you want to fight straight up, it's like 4 to 1 is pretty optimal. Yeah, it, it really comes down to like you get that perfect number where you can start one-shotting them, and then you don't have to invest in too many more unless they just keep getting picked apart. Okay, he's actually in position here to come back with oh. these Colossi and zone out the Vikings. Well done. I do like that. Next is going to go down once again, though. Can he get out with the army, though, is the next question. That's a good question. The Vikings here are going to certainly help. Here comes some feedback from behind. You might be able to hit those on these medevacs. Blinks forward is actually targeting the wrong medevac there. Most of this army gets away. He kills the Nexus for it. So if he hadn't gotten the Nexus, I would say it was a bad trade. But now, again, hurting the economy. Look at the production tab. You know, I know you guys can't see it right now, but when it opens in a second, there it is. Look at how much more TY is able to produce right now. Look yeah. at his economy versus S. Yeah, and that fourth base just finished up as well. So two bases, uh, four bases to two right now. He's he, so far ahead. He lost his Templar Archive and didn't even realize. Yeah. So he has to remake that. He's going to have to make do with the Templar he has on the map, which is four right now. A lot of Storms available. Yeah. Storm definitely did finish. And uh, so he's probably got about eight Storms available at this point. So he didn't use any in the last fight, didn't use any feedbacks. Next thing to note is 2-2 two -two is nearly finished up. 40 y plus two is already done for the attacks. He's just trying to play ping pong with Zest again. He's Seems always trying to way. pull him away from where the, the critical point matters. Once again, you know, Zest can completely can he pull that position and he's gonna try to go up the ramp again. I think he's gonna lose that Nexus. Same time, third base under assault. Yep, he definitely loses this Nexus. Third base is under assault. He would have lost one either way if Zest actually, you know, pulled his units like this basically. Oh, down go the Templar. I don't think he has enough to stop these this bio in the main. Their upgrades are too strong. Yeah, he's actually just getting too good of a trade. And the next follow-up push can hit the third base directly, I feel. Even if he just threatens the main with one medevac or the remaining medevacs that are here, that third base is going to go down. There's too many Stalkers out of position, and all these Vikings are juiced up and ready to fight. Several Colossi out of position. This third base is probably going to go down here. Well, two Templar looking for those storms to keep it alive for now. Okay, decent storms here, but the Colossi are exposed to the Vikings. One goes down. Stalkers getting some decent hits. There's another storm, but it's not on the main army. He can land them now if he wants to. He needs pretty much won the fight from here. There's simply too much fire left over against Stalkers and an Immortal. Yeah, Zest looking defeated here. Oh. T.Y. leans back in his chair. He knows he's won it. He's killing, you know, everything here. GG. Kills him. The Mothership Court full energy. Kills two Colossi for free. T.Y. with a very well-deserved win. He's looking so relieved. He made it to that round of four. One step closer to making it to BlizzCon. One of his best finishes in a Star League in Korea ever. Like, really, he's really reached a new level here. And Zest looking pretty disappointed here, losing to one of his younger brothers in the team house. I'm sure he's kind of surprised he, he had to lose, or he did lose this series. TY showing some incredible TVP. And we, you know, our ratio of players left in this tournament does have, you know, a mixture of all three races. Really curious to see what he brings to the table in other matchups because we've been seeing almost primarily that TVP match about him. It's sad to see Zest go, but he just did not play on TY's level today. Yeah, he got really picked apart in some of those games. He made it, TY made it look easy, which is such a surprise against someone like Zest.
who has the power to take down Maru. 